Hey everybody, John from Wire here. Um, in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to learn how you can upload SVG files to your WordPress site. Um, this is a common problem that I run into a lot with people that have WordPress sites and manage them. And the problem is this. So say that I have this, uh, whoops, I selected everything there. Say I have this logo right here. Um, it's just a simple SVG image and I want to use this as like a logo on my website or I want to put it somewhere on the website um, so that it can be seen. The problem is that if I try to upload it, it's going to give me an error. And the error is going to say, this whoops, this file type is not allowed. You can't really see it because it's refreshing, but this file type is not allowed. Please try again later. So this sucks because I really want to use it. So the way that you can get around this is that you can go into your appearance section and then go to editor and then when you're in editor you want to choose the theme that is currently active on your WordPress account so for me the name of the theme that's currently active is called Grimag so I have that selected already and you want to go on the right hand side under templates go down to where it says functions and it's probably not going to have, it's probably not going to say functions.php in the header, but it'll say it right there. You see how it says functions.php? So click on functions.php. And then in this section, at the end of all of this, but still within this PHP section, so I'm going to put it right above this right here, I'm going to paste this script into the function section. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to upload SVG images into your media folder. So once you've pasted that code there, I'm going to leave that in the description of this video so you can go ahead and copy it for yourself. Go ahead and click on update file. And I want to make a really quick note for people whose functions file looks a little bit different. Um, if you don't have this thing at the beginning, that says uh, question mark PHP if just go ahead and go all the way to the bottom every single thing at the bottom and then just make a new line and then paste it there if it looks something different so since mine does have that PHP if at the beginning I'm just gonna put it within that um, so I've already went ahead and saved that piece of code that I just added so now I'm going back to the media folder I'm going to click on add new and now I can go ahead and drag and drop that um, SVG image and have it appear within my media library. When you click on the media library image, that's an SVG, um, it will not display a, uh, a um, like you would normally have a regular image display when your media file, because it's an SVG, it's not generated in the attachment details. For example, this is a JPEG, right? So this is going to be able to be viewed and edited and whatnot. Um, but if it's an SVG file, you're not going to be able to have that flexibility. You won't be able to edit it within the media folder. So I really hope that helped. Um, if at some point you determine that you no longer want the ability to upload SVGs, maybe you're concerned about security or you have another reason that you just don't need it, um, all you need to go is all you need to do is go back to that editor within the appearance section. Go back down to functions again and just delete this piece of code that you added. And again, this code that I pasted into the functions uh, PHP document is going to be in this video description. So you can go ahead and copy and paste it into your theme itself. Um, I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment below because I do go ahead and read every single one of them. I appreciate your feedback and I hope you have a great day. Take care.